Now that I've finished doing the uncharted bell tower, I'm going to work on Nate's ring here. And uh, I'm going to be using Blender and Substance Painter. And because I've got an, a slightly older version of Substance Painter, I believe it's uh, 2020, um, I had to figure out a way that I could stretch the text image that I'm going to be putting on the ring. And I didn't have cylinder projection. And so uh, the way I'm going to show you works for my version of Substance Painter. If you have a newer version, you may be able to do it in another way, and I'd be interested to know if you find a different way to do it. This is really easy to do, so let's get started. So over here in Blender, we're gonna create the model of the ring. So I'm gonna press Shift A, and I'm gonna bring in a cylinder, and I'm gonna up the vertices from 32 to 64. I'm gonna leave the ends on, go into edit mode, so switch to the cavity shader, and let's scale in the Z and push to get the uh, sort of the thickness of the ring. Something like that. I'm going to select the top face and the bottom face. And I'm going to press I to inset. I'm going to pull in a little ways. And then I'm going to press E and S, S, Z. And pull it up like that. So we now have a little bit of an angle there. I'm going to press I again, pull in just a little bit, and there's the thickness of the ring, Control e bridge edge loops. And if you're not happy with that, you can SZ and scale it a little bit bigger like that. Okay, let's do some beveling now. Press 2 for edge selection, Shift-Alt, and click that edge and that edge, and underneath this edge and this edge, and we'll bevel these. Control b and pull something like this and i'm going to roll my mouse out just once so we'll have that and then this edge and this edge let's bevel those control b pull just a little bit so we get a little bit of a sharp edge there let's shade smooth that let's come in and make sure it's facing the right way yeah, it is okay so we're, we're good so there is our ring and that's all we have to do for the ring except unwrapping it and to unwrap it, I'm going to press 2 for edge selection, shift alt and click this top middle one here, and this bottom middle one there. Let's put a seam there, control E, and mark seam. And let's come around to, let's say we use the top middle one there, and the bottom middle one here, control E, and mark seam. And let's press Control one to look from the very back and shift alt and click there. We'll put a seam right down the middle. Control E mark seam. All right, so that's, those are our edges or our seams. UV editing, I'm gonna make sure it's selected, U and unwrap and we'll have this. Okay, so I wanna take these, I'm gonna box select a little bit. In fact, I could probably straighten this a little bit. So I'm gonna select a little bit and Control L and there are different ways to straighten UVs. I happen to like to use UV squares. It's a free blender add-on. And if you just search UV squares, uh, you can just select your mesh here. And I'm gonna click on to grid by shape and it'll straighten it and that's all I need to do. All right, I wanna select these though, Control L, and I wanna rotate them 90 degrees. It's just a little easier when they're this way and I can put my text on here and I'm not worried about straightening these at all. So I'm going to pack that now and I choose to use UV Pack Master. That's not free, but it's not very expensive. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna uncheck rotation, enable and pack and that'll just you know pack it in there. But I'm gonna GY, I'm gonna move these up. I'm gonna move that one to there and I'm gonna select a bit of this one, Control L and GY. I just like to have them separated a little bit. And if you want, at this point, you can take these and scale them as big as you can get them. That, that's fine like that. And I may take this one and G, just drag it down here a little bit and scale it just a little bit bigger. All right, and that's basically all we have to do for that. Okay, now we're going to export this as an FBX. Over here in Substance Painter, I'm going to create a new file, switch this to OpenGL, and check here, and select Uncharted Ring Video, that's my FBX, and open that up. 
and here's my ring. I'm going to bake the mesh maps for this in the texture set settings. Bake mesh maps. I'll do this at 2K and uncheck ID and bake. I'll delete the default layer and in the materials tab, I will search for metal. And I'm going to use this iron grinded. Or this is iron hammered. Let's try iron grinded, see what that's like. That's the one that I want. I want this kind of brushed look. And I'm going to take the color and just drop it down like that. You can do anything else that you want to do. I'm just going to leave it like that, but I think I'll turn on anti-aliasing. All right, so now it's time to get the text on there. So this is the way that I figured out for my version of Substance Painter, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. I'm going to create a fill layer, and I'm going to uncheck everything except for color for now. And I'm going to bring in some graphics that I created. Uh, this one here, all right, Sick Parvis Magna, which stands for uh, great thing, greatness from small beginnings. Greatness from small beginnings. And uh, that's one of the, the text pieces that's going to go on the ring. This is going to go on the outside of the ring. And on the inside of the ring is going to be this one. This is the apparently the, the day after Sir Francis Drake died. And these are the coordinates to his coffin or something like that. So uh, I created those texts uh, in, uh, in a graphic software. I, I will leave a link for you to download them if you don't want to create them. I just tried to get a font that I thought looked kind of, kind of neat. And there are, I've seen a few different styles of this. Um, it's basically what you need is white text on a black background and the black will be transparent. Uh, so if you want to download them and just use them, you can or you can create your own text and do make the Harry Potter ring or anything that you want. But this is how I'm gonna do this now. So I'm gonna bring those in. So I'm going to add resources and find them. There we are, this one. And I just called them Sick Parvis Magna, sort of one and two. I'm gonna bring those in and I'm going to define them as alphas. And I'm just gonna bring them into the current session. So they are there. Okay, so back to my fill layer where I have just color. I'm gonna take the first one and I'm gonna drop it in here. And you may see just a little bit of stuff up here. I'm gonna switch over to the 2D and 3D view and pull this down here. And here is my outside and inside. So um, I'm gonna just drag this until I start seeing some text. And I, I don't want it there because that looks like it's the inside of the ring. So I'm gonna bring it there. And I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna press control and I'm gonna start scaling this down so it's a little smaller, sort of looking over at the ring, getting the size of it. I don't want it to repeat uh, around the ring all the time, so I'm gonna just scroll up under UV wrap. I'm just gonna choose none until I get the text the approximate size. And this is where I had the problem before. I had an image and I brought it in, I tried stenciling and uh, in uh, various ways, alphas, and I could never get the ring. I could not scale it uh, properly. Uh, I couldn't stretch it as a stencil in my version. I think you may be able to use cyl cylindrical projection in the newer versions, but I didn't, I didn't have that feature. So this will work. So I'm gonna hold control and pull, and I'm gonna stretch it out until I like the approximate size of it. So I've got that. Okay, I'm happy with, with that. And I come back to the layer and I'm gonna call this text out because it's on the outside of the ring. And I'm going to add an anchor point. It will get the same name as text out. Now I need to have this to sink in and I want it black. So I'm gonna add a black mask over here. I'm gonna add a fill. And in the properties on the grayscale, I'm going to choose that anchor point. Now I can go back to the main layer and I can add height and I'm going to drop the height a little bit and you can see that it's starting to sink in. So it's going well. 
And I'm also going to add a paint layer on there. So that's on the main layer, not on the mask. And in the properties of that, I want to get, I'm going to get rid of that alpha so it's just harder. Alt click color, I only want color, and I'm going to change this to black. Now I can come up here, increase my brush size a little bit, and just stroke over this. There, and it's done. I can still come back to here, and I can adjust the height if I want it deeper or less deep. So there's that one. Let's do the inside text now. Create a new fill layer. I'm going to call this text in. I'm going to choose only color. I'm going to drag the second alpha onto there and move this until I start seeing it on the inside. Control and scale it down and position it. I think I'll get it to not wrap for now so that it's a little easier to tell the size and just see it once. All right, let's scale it down a little bit more. Hold control and stretch it out. So I've got the date and I've got the coordinates there. Okay, so let's do the same thing on this one. I'm going to add an anchor point. Then on the main layer, I'm going to add a black mask and a fill. And in the grayscale, I'm going to choose that anchor point text in. Back to the main layer, add height. Drop it down a little bit. Add a paint layer. It should remember the last settings, color and black. And paint that in. Let's switch to 3D view only. Maximize. And there's my ring. Now I'm only at 1024 resolution. You can bring it up. You can add dirt or debris or whatever. And we're done. You can export those textures to Blender. And uh, you're, you can create whatever uh, image you want out of it. And that's what I did. I just had two of them and I did some post-processing. And that is basically it. All right, so there's the Uncharted Nate's ring and I'll go on I'll do a few more uh, artifacts or treasures from that uh, series as well all right hope that helps thanks for watching and we'll see you next time